morning friends now we'll move on to the next topic deflection of helical spring shear stress tau is equal to a into a w d by pi d q so where k is wall's factor which is considered to consider the effect of both shear stress due to twisting and direct stress and the shear stress due to curvature curvature of the helical spring so to consider the effects of all the three twisting moment direct uh, compressive stress and third one is stress due to curvature this wall's factor k is considered here k is equal to ks into kc where ks is shear stress factor right and kc is uh, curvature factor okay now we'll move on to the next topic deflection of helical spring deflection of helical spring of circular cross section wire so as you know these equations you can calculate from the fundamentals of uh, design so deflection delta is equal to radius of the coil diameter of the coil is d so radius of the coil is d by 2 into angular deflection or theta angular deflection of coil okay since the helical spring consists of n number of coils so each coil is subjected to some amount of deflection so this deflection first you need to find out in terms of angle theta that is called angular deflection into r value radius of the coil you will get uh, uh, the linear deflection or the axial deflection of the compression helical spring so this equation is just from length of the arc l is equal to r into theta okay now you can find out this theta angular deflection theta value from the torsion equation what is the torsion equation t by j equal to tau by r equal to j theta by l this is torsion equation is it right T by J equal to tau by R equal to J theta by L. So from this equation, you can write the equation for theta. What is theta here? Theta is angular deflection. Theta is equal to T L by J G. T L by J G. Okay. So you can take these two components. T by J equal to G theta by L. From this, you can write the equation for theta. Theta is equal to T L by J G, where T is twisting moment. Twisting moment is equal to load into a radius of the coil. So, what is radius of the coil? In terms of diameter, D by two is the radius of the coil into length of the coil. Sorry, length of the spring. So, if you want to find out length of the spring, first you need to find out length of one coil. One coil. Each coil is of a circular cross section. So, length of the coil is equal to circumference of the coil. So, pi into d is the circumference into how many number of coils are there? N number of active coils. So, pi d n is the length of the Total spring wire into J. What is J here? Polar moment of inertia. Or circular cross section. Polar moment of inertia is equal to pi by thirty two d to the power of four into G. Okay. You can simplify this. So if you simplify this, you will get theta is equal to pi pi gets cancelled. Two ones, two sixteen, 
Okay, then you can write W sixteen W is point then divided by G T to the power of four. So this is angular deflection equation. Angular deflection equation. So from this, you can find out the linear deflection value. Delta is equal to. So this is linear deflection. Delta is equal to r into theta. What is r here? D by two into theta. So D by two into sixteen W D square. Then by G T to the power of four. Okay. Now D by two into theta. So two ones, two eights. Then eight W D Q then by G T to the power of four. That is linear deflection. So linear deflection delta is equal to eight W. Q n divided by g t to the power of four. So this is linear deflection produced in the compression gear testing, and that the action of compressed load double u. Okay. Once we have the deflection equation, from this we can find out stiffness of the spring. Stiffness or spring rate or spring constant all are same. Generally, spring stiffness is represented with small k. That is equal to spring stiffness can be or stiffness can be defined as load required for unit deflection. So W by delta. So W is load, and delta is we have eight W. We use n divided by G T to the power of four. That is equal to right? G T to the power of four divided by eight D Q. Yeah. So W W gets cancelled. So D by small D by capital D or small capital D by small D is the spring index. You can rewrite this equation in terms of spring index. G into D divided by eight C Q Y, where C is the spring index. So likewise, you can calculate deflection produced in the helical spring of circular cross section, and spring constant K is equal to W by delta. So that is also calculated from the previous. Uh, And let's then find so that uh, k is equal to g d by eight c q n. So this is regarding shear stress produced in the helical spring, and then deflection produced in the helical spring, and then spring constant or spring stiffness or spring rate of helical spring when it is subjected to a load W. Is it clear? I hope all of you got it. Thank you.